Crash, Holly fam, welcome back to another episode. Uh, just to bring you up to speed, I'm down here in the Florida Keys between uh, Isla Mirada and uh, Tavernier. I'm down here in the Keys this time because uh, my mom from up north uh, flew down here for a few days. So uh, being that I only live like three, four hours away, uh, I hopped in the car with uh, my girl Karina and we uh, met my mom down here. And right now uh, we're staying at the uh, Creekside Inn uh, Motel Hotel here in uh, Tavernier, Isla Mirada. And they're still back at the room sleeping. And this is our second day here. Uh, we're spending just one more night and day here in the Keys before uh, heading home. And I did do some fishing yesterday and it wasn't really great. And uh, this isn't really like a serious fishing trip. I'm just kind of trying to sneak out uh, while uh, I have uh, the time in between uh, you know, doing stuff with my mom and my girl. But uh, I'm hoping uh, that uh, we'll find some fish uh, here in this area. Uh, right now I'm going through this cut that uh, cuts from the Atlantic side to the uh, Gulf side and uh, I think we'll probably just start out by uh, trolling through this area and uh, see if we uh, you know come across any good bait that we could catch and use to catch uh, fish or uh, also um, you know maybe just work uh, you know some dock structure and then on the opposite side here we got some mangroves that uh, look pretty good. All right, so right here I have this uh, tube that I made and I'm just gonna single uni knot it on. Two, three, four, wet or not. Pull it down tight. Now let's throw it out there and uh, I'm gonna try trolling a couple miles with this out behind the kayak. And with this, we may be able to see if there's any really big kudas up this way. Oh, oh I just lost them. Dang. Let's check the lure here. If there's some big teeth marks in it, then we know it was a cuda. And oh yeah, look at that latex right there. Totally tore up. And that's a shame that he came off. The hook looks sharp, but I'll touch it up a little bit. All right, I trolled around for like 30, 40 more minutes and no other bites on the tube. So I'm gonna tie this up for a little bit and uh, I'm gonna just look along the mangroves here and see what I see. I've got this little voodoo shrimp tied on and there's some nice current going right around this point. Oh, just had a bite. We got here. Oh, look at that. I, I snagged a little pinfish. This right here would be great snook bait or grouper bait, tarpon bait, everything will eat this little pinfish. Throw that guy in there. Give him a little water. I'm gonna try tossing around the cast net now and see if uh, maybe I can get uh, a couple dozen. Uh. 
There's got to be something that'll get in the net. No, I don't think I got anything. No, nope, nothing. All right, I made a slight move for our next toss for bait. And it looks like there's a bunch of greenies maybe right here. A lot of bait all right I got a crazy amount of live baits in the well and then I also got a bunch of dead baits because I didn't want to uh, over fill my well because it's only a 10 gallon uh, trash can that I converted into a live well so I got a bunch of dead baits and I'm just gonna start throwing some of them just uh, right near this big boat and let them drift right underneath it and maybe this will we get any fish feeding that are right underneath this structure and now I'm gonna rig up just a simple knocker rig nope nothing all right let's see what happens oh I may have a fish on there he is. Fish on. What do we have? Oh, just a little snapper. All right, uh, I took like three more drops here and no other bites with uh, the live bait. Uh, so I'm gonna keep uh, moving down. There he is. Fish on. Oh, I lost them. Dang. That felt like something decent. That probably was a larger snapper or a small grouper. Because I felt him rubbing me on some structure that he pulled me into. And instead of breaking me off, the hook just pulled out. There's a fish. What do we got? Nice. Well, that's a decent size mangrove right there. Look at that fatty. Whew. That's gonna be a good one for the table. Let's get a quick measure on this one. This guy is a little over 14 inches. Sweet. I bled this guy just right out to my Mirage Drive scupper hole. We'll throw him in there. And that should be good. Oh boy. Attack dogs. This looks good right in here. Oh, 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 oh. I just got eight. There he is. Nice. That looks like another keeper snapper. Sweet. All right, they just gotta be 10 inches to keep. This guy is at least 13 inches. He's well, way over 10, there's 10 right there. So we got another keeper. All right, well, 
I think that's going to be uh, it for the fishing portion of uh, this video. Unfortunately, I can't fish all day. Uh, the girls want to go to Key West, so uh, we're going to head back, load up the kayak, and uh, whack up the two snapper that I have in the box, and uh, then I'm going to cook them up uh, for all of us for lunch. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, I'll see you guys at the playboard and at the grill. Cut them up. Ooh, that's a hefty one. I got this uh, sword sportsman fillet knife. So we should be able to make quick work of this with this. And there you have it. There's our bounty from our little outing today. And uh, Karina's over there uh, checking the grill. Does it turn on? No? Let me go check the grill situation. Yo, this oh, okay. Is... <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's on. Okay. I there we go. Bye. Uh, you got to turn the gas on, Karina. <laughs> All right, I got some seasoning in this little bag here. And I'm probably gonna season our fish with this Fishmonger Fisherman's Blend. Get ready to drop the fish uh, on this little skillet here with the, that just has a little bit of olive oil in it. Uh, by the way, this is my mom here, Arlene, Karina, you guys may have seen uh, in a couple uh, recent vids. And uh, you guys excited for the fish? Yes, I can't wait to taste it. All right, this is as fresh as it gets. Nice, lemon. nice. First bite. First bite. Mm. Wow. It's good? It's so delicious. <laughs> oh, nice. And here you are, sweetheart. How's it taste? It's melting. It's delicious. Oh, good. Yep. All right. <laughs> All right. Now it's my turn. Whew, I am starving. A little LaCro uh, LaCroix here, courtesy of my mother. And I brought the fish, caught the fish. Mmm, so good. Doesn't get better than this. Thank you guys so much for watching. It wasn't a killer day out there, but at least um, we could have a good time off the water with some of the catch and have a nice moment uh, between loved ones. And if you did enjoy, please smash the like button, hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next episode. And like always, live to fish, fish to live.